It's finally time, Doraemon, copy gloves with manifest ability. Naruto shouted excitedly in his heart, and stepped forward a few steps to Danzo. The seal of the root of tongue trouble. It's about this time, Danzo no longer pretended, his hands quickly formed seals, and he patted Naruto's shoulder with one hand, shouting in a low voice. The current roots are not as beautiful as Danzo said. In other words, the current root is just a mouse hiding in the dark. Since Danzo joined forces with Uchiha Itachi and the masked man Obito to execute the genocide plan. Because of this arbitrariness, it may be dissatisfaction with Danzo's behavior, or it may be to kill the donkey. Regardless of the reason, the result was that Danzo was relieved of his role as Hokage's assistant by Serutobi Hirazan, disbanding the roots. The roots that have grown through the three wars have been assigned to other departments. Well, mainly Uchiha's guards, it's just that Danzo is not reconciled, relying on the shackles of the seal of the tongue, he is still secretly doing small tricks. Closer to home. When Danzo engraved the seal of tongue bane, Naruto's right hand also put on a transparent glove, taking the opportunity to touch Danzo's body. Name. Shimura Danzo Abilities, Single Mangekyo Sharingan, Ten Three Tomo Sharingan, Hashirama Cell, Izanagi, Wood Style Tree Root Burial. The Seal of the Eradication of Tongue Disaster, the Seal of Self Karma Curse, and the Seal of Li Xixiang. Wind Style Vacuum Wave, Wind Style Vacuum Wave, Wind Style Vacuum Sphere, Wind Style Vacuum Dayama, Summoning Nightmare. In an instant, Danzo's details were completely exposed in front of Naruto. Without any hesitation, Naruto quickly copied a single Mangekyo Sharingan, Izanagi, Seal of Tongue Curse, Seal of Own Curse, Wind Style Vacuum Wave, Wind Style Vacuum Lianbo, Wind Style Vacuum Sphere, Wind Style Vacuum Dayama. As for Hashirama Cells, Naruto did not copy, but was going to ask for the real thing. Hashirama Cells are too aggressive, Naruto, with a pair of Mangekyo, might be able to resist. But still the same sentence, a gentleman does not stand under a dangerous wall. No need to take that risk. Take the route, you go back first. Satisfied. Danzo let go and slapped Naruto's palm, and ordered Abarame to root without looking back. Now Naruto, there is no danger anymore. Yes, Master Danzo. Abarame also understood the strong bondage of the seal of tongue bane and eradication, so he replied in a low voice, and then left with his subordinates. Naruto. I have a task for you now. I want you to lurk in Squad 7 and find a chance to kill Kakashi. He was a member of the Root before, and later betrayed the Root. Danzo stares at Naruto with one eye, discredits Kakashi's image, and starts posting his own mission. Kakashi's backstab before, not only made Danzo fail to assassinate Serutobi Hirazan, but also lost Wood-style Sky Burial. Now, he's going to test Naruto's loyalty by killing Kakashi. Then, Wait for an opportunity to kill third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan. The Naruto of Four Tales has this ability. The seal of the root of tongue disaster is more to prevent his information from being leaked. Activating the seal of the curse will paralyze the victim's whole body and make him unable to control himself. At most, it is the one who can curse and kill the medium. If Naruto voluntarily seeks death, Danzo can't forcefully control Naruto to kill nine tails. Kill Kakashi? This old guy really thinks of himself as an onion. It just so happened that you drove away your subordinates yourself, so I'm not being polite. Naruto dismissed it in his heart, and when Danzo spoke eloquently, the pupils of his eyes changed instantly to Mangekyo Sharingan. Left eye Kamui, right eye Distinguished Heavenly Gods. Belonging to Shisui's Mangekyo pupil technique, Distinguished Heavenly Gods activates. Although the attributes are different, the power of the distinguished heavenly gods is more powerful under the urging of the pupil power of the two Mangekyo. Well, caught off guard, Danzo's eyes instantly became confused, staring at Naruto absent-mindedly. Danzo never imagined that Naruto actually had distinguished heavenly gods, and he was instantly hit. Naruto was quick with his hands and eyes, and with a stretch of his hand, he gouged out Danzo's right eye, which is Shisui's eye. After observing carefully for a minute, it was confirmed that Danzo did not turn on Izanagi to transfer damage, and Naruto was relieved. That's the magic in ninja fighting. As long as you know the other party's intelligence, you can instantly restrain the other party. Danzo took advantage of Izanaki's intelligence to capture the eye of Shisui before. And Naruto is also an intelligence officer who uses the distinguished heavenly gods. It doesn't matter what the heaven-defying pupil technique is, if it doesn't work, it's just nonsense. Danzo. I just accept your roots. 
Naruto directly crushed Shisui's eye, stared at Danzo playfully and laughed. At the same time, Naruto formed a seal with both hands, and engraved the seal of eradicating tongue disaster just copied in reverse. The distinguished heavenly gods in Shisui's right eye is just a short-lived pupil technique. Hint. Change Shimura Danzo's fate trajectory to get 1000 Honkai points. After Naruto engraved the mark of eradicating tongue disaster, another reminder sounded in his ear. It just offsets the collapse point of the replica gloves? Never mind. The Chunin exam is when Danzo comes into play. In this scene, how could Serutobi not have a good friend Danzo? Naruto whispered, the Mangekio in his right eye turned, Danzo's hands involuntarily began to seal. The seal of the root of Tungkur solution. Bloody tears flowed from Danzo's empty right eye, but he completed the seal without realizing it, put his hand on Naruto, and shouted in a low voice. The seal of tongue eradication on Naruto's body disappeared after only letting him experience it for two minutes. So what, it takes 2000 points to transfer the stick. There are too few crash points now, and it is a little bit to save a little. Seal solution. Then Danzo took out another storage scroll, and quickly unwrapped it with both hands. With a bang, a nutrition bottle appeared with a Hashirama cell inside. Naruto took the nutrient bottle of Hashirama cells, set the distinguished heavenly gods hint on Danzo, turned and left. After Naruto left, Danzo naturally ran to a stronghold. Let his subordinates re-transplant a three-tomo Sharingan into his right eye. And use illusion to erase this memory of his subordinates, and continue to hide without abnormalities. In Danzo's cognition, he has subdued Naruto and let Naruto hide in Kakashi's class as an undercover agent. As for Shisui's Mangekyo, under the hint of distinguished heavenly gods, Danzo subconsciously ignores the past. Name. Uzumaki Naruto Blood Successor, Uzumaki Bloodline, White Eyes, Mangekyo Sharingan, Left Eye Kamui, Right Eye Distinguished Heavenly Gods. Abilities. Nine Tails Chakra Mode, Sense of Good and Evil, Hand of Nine Tails Chakra. Attributes. Wind, Fire, Thunder, Earth, Water, Yin, Yang. Mystery. Gentle fist, 8 trigrams 64 palms, 8 trigrams palms revolving heaven. Ninja. Rasengan, multiple shadow clone technique, ninja shuriken shadow clone technique. Taijutsu. Body flicker technique, Bialianwa, Lilianwa, Junjilianwa, Chao Peacock, Day Tiger, 8 inner gates formation. Illusion. Narakumi technique, Sharingan illusion, Izanagi. Sealing technique. The seal of eradicating tongue disaster. The seal of self karma binding. Wind style. Wind style wind cut technique. Wind style great breakthrough. Wind style vacuum wave. Wind style vacuum wave. Wind style vacuum sphere. Wind style vacuum dayama. Fire style. Fire style how huo chu technique. Fire style fire dragon flame bullet. Fire style how long fire technique. Lightning style. Lightning style chidori, rakery. Earth style. Earth style tuliubi, earth style tuliukut. Water style. Water style water dragon bomb technique, water style water barrier. Naruto returned home, and after carefully sorting out his current strength, he lay comfortably on the bed with the corners of his mouth slightly raised. Since Doraemon said that it may bring unpredictable danger to Naruto, Naruto has a sense of crisis. Even if the will of the world collapses, this crisis will no longer exist. But Naruto is still preparing for a rainy day. The function of the item is indeed heaven defying. But the power of the void makes Naruto feel a little unreal. It's like you have a bank card with unlimited overdraft, although you can spend it inhumanely. But there is always a feeling of unreliability in my heart. This also prompted Naruto to urgently improve his strength. Now, finally, it's time to be a little more unrestrained. I have changed now, and the male second should also be on the agenda. It's you, Arzuzi. Naruto's eyes flickered, he squinted his eyes and murmured, and slowly fell asleep. Next day Hokage office, well, let me see. The task of the seventh class is a sea level escort task. Escort the convoy of merchants to the country of rivers. This is the entrusted scroll, and the consigner is purchasing supplies. Half an hour later, gather at the door of Konoha. Serutobi Hirazan sucked the cigarette holder in his mouth, took out a commission scroll from a pile of documents, exhaled a smoke ring, and handed it to Kakashi. Is it because of Naruto? Kakashi paused the hand that took the scroll, took the scroll calmly, glanced at Naruto unobtrusively, and thought to himself. What's the situation? Coming up is a sea level task. 
butterfly effect. Also get ready to Honkai Sasuke while doing daily quests. It seems that I can only play by ear. Naruto cast a meaningful glance at Serutobi Hirazan, slandered in his heart, and did not refuse. Without doing those low-level tasks, Naruto can also relax. Sasuke and little Sakura didn't know what was going on here, and they didn't speak out to refute it. Especially Sasuke, who desperately practiced with Emperor Guy's master and apprentice last night, and now his calves are trembling, and he is holding on with a haggard face. Lord Hokage. They're just freshly graduated genin. Isn't it a little too anxious to let them perform C-level tasks now? Iruka, who was sitting at the bottom, couldn't help shouting loudly when he heard this task. Iruka. They are now genin, not students of ninja school. Moreover, Naruto is very strong. Serutobi Hirazan was unmoved, took another puff of the cigarette holder, and said calmly. But, no but, Aruka Chunin. Naruto and the others are now my subordinates. If something goes wrong, I will bear it. Aruka wanted to say something, but was warned solemnly by Kakashi on the side. The current 7th class is not a C-level task, even an S-level task is not difficult. To put it bluntly, even if something happens to Kakashi, Naruto will be fine. After Aruka was choked by Kakashi, class 7 also managed to get the task. Ten minutes later the few people who packed their bags found the task and trusting person at the door of Konoha. It turned out to be the famous copy ninja Hitaki Kakashi. Kakashi Janin, please wait a little longer. We still have some supplies that we haven't purchased. After seeing Kakashi, the client, Ito, decisively changed the procurement plan and came forward to compliment him. Copy the name of the ninja Hitaki Kakashi, among those caravans who often come into contact with ninjas, it is very popular. This time, I actually used the money for the sea level mission to get escorted by Hitaki Kakashi. If you don't add some supplies, you will be sorry for the heaven defying luck. Not a qualified businessman either, our task is to escort your caravan. Departure time you decide. Kakashi waved his hands indifferently, he was already familiar with this situation. Then trouble you, wait here. The client, Ito, hurriedly rushed to Konoha village with his guards. Copy Ninja Hitaki Kakashi. Teacher Kakashi, you are amazing. But are they taking advantage of us? After the client left, little Sakura immediately stepped forward and yelled like a little girl, and then yelled without anger. Little Sakura, don't say that. They also use the rules reasonably to maximize their own interests. This is also a compulsory course for ninjas, use the rules under reasonable rules to achieve your own goals. Kakashi took the opportunity to teach on the spot. The little Sakura who listens has a big head, she didn't come to listen to Kakashi's lecture. Copy Ninja Hitaki Kakashi, is it because of the Sharingan? Sasuke sat aside, looking at Kakashi's left eye covered by the forehead protector, thinking to himself. On the boulevard outside Konoha village, a large convoy of merchants is slowly walking towards the destination with supplies. The client, Ito, is also a very shrewd businessman. In order to avoid complaints from the Kakashi team, they invited several people to go to the carriage he was riding in. Kakashi, an old fritter, of course readily agreed to this request. Naruto looked at the narrow carriage compartment, directly declined the invitation, and jumped onto the roof of a cargo vehicle. Lying lazily on it, Sasuke also followed suit by jumping on the roof of another car and lying on it to catch up on sleep. Last night's training made Sasuke very listless today. Little Sakura looked down at her skirt. After struggling for a moment, she gave up and followed the two, and entered the carriage with Kakashi. Sealed space, Doraemon, how many crash points does the time machine need to rent? Naruto's consciousness came to the sealed space, and asked Doraemon inside through the iron gate. The time to penetrate the ring has come. Naruto cannot enter the cage now. Time machine. This requires at least 10,000 crash points before it can be used once. Naruto, we only have 3,100 points right now. Forget about that for now. Doraemon leaned on Nine Tails Foxtail and said in an ambiguous voice. In fact, the current crash point is only 2,600 points left by him. Naruto didn't notice Doraemon's discomfort, he was thinking about things with his head down. After several trials, Naruto knows that only by truly changing the plot will there be a large number of Honkai points. Just spoilers are a change of mind, not many breaking points. So, if you have a time machine and travel directly to major historical events, the breakdown point will be considerable. But now, Doraemon, I would like to rent a life recycling machine. How many crash points does this have? Naruto thought of a prop he knew, 
his eyes lit up, and he asked excitedly. If you can't travel back, then this life rebuilding machine is the same. Life re-engineering machine. As long as the age is adjusted, the current IQ and power will be retained and transmitted to that time to change the past. It can be said that this is equivalent to the existence of the perfect regret medicine. Except for height, body shape, and age when I was a child, all other states are retained. Doraemon has at least thousands of props, and Naruto only memorized some impressive props. This life rebuilding machine is one of the most desired things. After all, who hasn't had a few unforgettable regrets? Life machine. This one gets 3000 points, can only be used once, and the time is only one day. Doraemon lowered his head and rummaged in the four-dimensional pocket, took out an item and introduced it. Can only be used once? There is only one day left. No wonder it's so cheap. That's him, Doraemon. Naruto stared at the props in Doraemon's hand overjoyed, and shouted after taking it in surprise. He remembered that Nobita used this, and there was no time limit at all. Unexpectedly, there was only one day to change the time. However, it is enough. Well, as long as the date is adjusted here, it will return to that time period. Naruto, if you weren't in that timeline, you would disappear. Never try to spend time without you. Doraemon took a peek at Naruto, and after noticing that there was anything unusual about him, he exhorted earnestly. This life rebuilding machine actually only needs 2,500 points. Doraemon deliberately exaggerated 500 points, but it was actually smoothing out its shortfall. Doraemon is very fortunate now that the notification sound only prompts income information, not consumption information. Naruto didn't know about this at all, and he was happily studying the life regeneration machine there. Originally, he was going to start with Urzuzi, the second male lead, to gain Honkai points. But now Urzuzi's strength, even if he returns to the night of extermination, he will still be delivering food, which will not change anything at all. But if this person is replaced by Kakashi, it will be different. Hokage fans know that the fate of Kakashi and Obito was changed at the same time during the Battle of Kanabi. Obito is the existence that set off the Fourth World War. If the fate of Obito is changed, the point of collapse is still coming. Doraemon, for the remaining 100 points, you can change the background here. This dark environment is too depressing. Thinking of the large number of breakdown points afterwards, Naruto was also in a good mood, and said with a sigh of relief. Okay. Thanks Naruto. Doraemon yelled happily, and buried himself in the four-dimensional pocket to search for it. To be honest, it is not used to the environment here. Yes, yes. The sightseeing phantom machine can virtualize the real-time images of any place in the world here. Because of the suppression of the will of the world, now only real-time images with a radius of a hundred miles can be realized. This consumption is the smallest, only ten points a day. Doraemon took out a machine and introduced it while operating it on the ground. In an instant, the black and black sealed space turned into a tree-lined mountain and river. A real-time picture with a radius of hundreds of miles. Still only ten o'clock a day. Isn't this, isn't this a small portable map? Naruto looked at the vivid scenery around him in surprise, his eyes widened, and he shouted in surprise. Doraemon's props, as expected, none of them are unreasonable. As far as this intelligence gathering ability is concerned, Bai Yan is no fart in front of it. What's more, 360 full color screen, if this shifts the picture somewhere. Naruto touched his eyes subconsciously, and suddenly felt like copying Neji's white eyes, it didn't smell good. Under the starry moonlit night on the side of the open road, a pile of bonfires swayed with the breeze, outlining a beautiful picture. Naruto and Kakashi, sitting around the campfire, staring absently at the flickering and dancing lights. Well, Kakashi was staring at the little red book in his hand absent-mindedly. After a tiring day on the road, the convoy fell asleep after eating and drinking enough. Sasuke, the second idiot, followed the team for physical training after catching up on sleep during the day. He was quite motivated by Xiao Li's possession, and he finally knocked himself down. Now, sleeping there. Little Sakura was also arranged by Kakashi, and took turns keeping vigil with Naruto, and now she is also going to rest. Naruto asked Doraemon to use the sightseeing phantom machine to check the surrounding hundred miles, but he still couldn't bear the excitement in his heart and started his own plan. Mr. Kakashi, I have something to tell you. Oh? What's up? Kakashi focused on the contents of the little red book, and said lazily without raising his head. Ms. Kakashi, if there is a chance to go back to the past. What regret do you most want to change? Seeing that Kakashi was unmoved, 
Naruto asked tactfully, a bright light flashed in his eyes. Back to the past. Changing regrets. Kakashi froze slightly while reading the book, a flash of pain flashed in his eyes, and he whispered unconsciously. His father's suicide is a pain that Kakashi will never let go of. The death of Obito and Lin was a nightmare that accompanied him all his life. The loss of his teacher and teacher's wife also caused him unspeakable grief. Too much regret. No, I finally forgot those pains, and I can't recall them anymore. Kakashi was once again aroused by the unforgettable memory, pain like a knife in his heart, his eyes sharpened, and he immediately suppressed those memories. Ms. Kakashi, I have a way to bring you back in time. Do you want to try it? Naruto, who was watching the words and expressions, saw the determination in Kakashi's eyes, and immediately threw his own bomb, making Kakashi stunned in place for an instant. Return to the past? Impossible, how can there be such a ridiculous thing? Kakashi raised his head sharply, staring at Naruto with lightning eyes, suppressing the inner turmoil, and said in a cold voice. Try it and you'll know, you don't suffer anyway. Naruto quickly took out the life regeneration machine from his backpack, handed the T-shaped shame headgear to Kakashi and said. Naruto, stop making such jokes, put away your strange things, I don't believe in such things. Kakashi glanced at the hood with twitching corners of his eyes, and refused righteously. Ms. Kakashi, how could I lie to you, look at this. Naruto was already prepared for this, and handed the hood to Kakashi, staring at Kakashi and said. Flipping his palm. A blue chakra ball appeared in his palm. Rasengan. How could you do this? Kakashi's complexion changed instantly, his right eye almost popped out, and he exclaimed in surprise. This is what you taught me. This, you will know when you come back. Now put on the headgear and enter the time you're going. You will bring your current strength and go back to the past. It cannot be before the age of ten, your body will not be able to bear it. There is only one day, you have to choose carefully. Naruto dismissed Rasengan, handed the time adjustment machine to Kakashi, and said foolishly. He deliberately stuck the time after the age of 10, just to prevent Kakashi from going to stop White Fang's death. In the future, I believe that with Kakashi's bond with Obito, he will definitely choose the Battle of Kanabi. Except for Kakashi, no one knew what day it was. As the most ninja literate ninja in Hokage, Kakashi quickly analyzed the pros and cons in his mind. Rasengan now only he and Jiraiya can use it. And Naruto said that his Rasengan was taught by himself. Then there is only one possibility, which is learned through this machine that goes back to the past. That said, there's a good chance this machine is real. Although there are still various mysteries in his mind, Kakashi is going to try the machine first, and then have a good talk with Naruto. Everything has to verify the authenticity of this machine. Kakashi's eyes flashed brightly, he put on the headgear, and quickly adjusted to that day that he will never forget in his life. Naruto saw the time, quickly calculated in his mind, raised his hand and pressed the start switch. At the same time, Kakashi only felt a whirl of heaven and earth, as if falling into the bottomless Uzumaki, spinning and sinking. Konoha 46 years at this time, it was the period of the Third Ninja World War. In the world of ninjas, people who break the rules and regulations are called waste. However, a guy who doesn't cherish his partners is even more of a waste. It's all trash anyway, so I'll break this rule. Choose to be a waste that cherishes your partner. If so, that's not the right ninja. That ninja thing, let me defeat him. Just as Kakashi regained consciousness, he heard this unforgettable cry. Really, back to the day. Obito. Kakashi opened his eyes, stretched out his hands trembling in front of his eyes, looked down at his familiar attire when he was a teenager and then saw the familiar back that was gone, broke his defense instantly, and growled in a low voice. And many more, at this time, has Lin been taken away? Rock Shinobi, let me end your lives. Kakashi woke up suddenly, his eyes were full of coldness, and his figure disappeared in place in an instant. With the blessing of Kakashi's strength in the future, Kakashi's strength now is the existence of elite Jonin. Obito, this time I will try my best to protect you and Lin. Absolute, in just a split second, Kakashi caught up with Obito, uttering his sincere heartfelt voice. Ka, Kakashi. You guy, aren't you going to abandon your companion? Why? Why are you still here? Don't you, you still can't let us go. Obito's hurried figure paused, seeing the figure suddenly appearing in front of him, and shouted in surprise. If Kakashi can come to help, the hope of rescuing Lin will definitely be greatly improved. Obito of Chunin's strength, 
although he doesn't admit it with his mouth, he still knows how much he is in his heart. He dared to save Lin alone, purely because he was once a beauty. However, is Kakashi changing so quickly? Kakashi looked at the chattering Obito with moist eyes, and smiled unconsciously at the corner of his mouth hidden under the mask. For many years, I haven't heard such long-winded words again. This feeling really made him miss it. Obito, I finally see you again. This time, I will not let you die, nor will I take your eyes to see our future. In the future, we will witness together, Kakashi. You, you actually cried? How can that be? I must be dazzled. Obito, who was teasing Kakashi, suddenly stopped, staring at Kakashi's wet eyes in disbelief and shouting. Kakashi was awakened by Obito's voice, and hurriedly restrained his emotions, suppressing his overwhelming emotions. Stop talking nonsense, Obito. If you want to rescue Lin, hurry up. Kakashi snorted pretending to be calm, stepped forward to grab Obito, and led him to chase in the direction where Rock Shinobi was escaping. He only has one day, and if he talks too much, he will cause trouble for himself tomorrow. Kakashi still decided to try to behave normally. Some things, I'd better wait until I see teacher Minato. Kakashi guy, so fast? Did he hide his strength before? This speed is not much worse than that of Mr. Minato. Is this why Kakashi promoted Jonin? Is this genius? Obito was frightened by Kakashi's explosive speed for a moment, thinking wildly in surprise. Chunin's Obito obviously overestimated the current Kakashi. Now Kakashi's strength is simply not comparable to the yellow flashing Namikaze Minato. But, among the elite Jonin, that's the top group. Kakashi, who knows where Rock Shinobi is, doesn't need to follow any clues at all, and pulls Obito straight to Rock Shinobi's hidden cave. Obito, you are here to make a movement to attract the enemy. I'll go inside to rescue Lin, you're fine, right? Kakashi stared at Obito intently, pointed to the cave in front, and said his battle plan in a low voice. I. Gudu. No, no problem. Obito's eyes widened subconsciously, he pointed at himself, swallowed, and took out his kanai to look ahead. Thinking of what happened to Lin, the determination flashed in his eyes, and he gritted his teeth and agreed. Obito, you are still so aggressive, but this time is your time to awaken the Sharingan, and I won't let you miss this opportunity. A smile flashed in Kakashi's eyes, and this thought flashed in his mind, and his figure disappeared instantly. Rin, I will definitely rescue you with Kakashi. After Obito saw Kakashi leave, he cheered himself up in a deep voice. Then, the kanai in his hand made a noise intentionally to attract the enemy. Rock Shinobi, who was hiding in the cave, heard Obito's movement immediately. I'm going to deal with that guy, and you can use this time to continue to cast illusions on her and torture her for information as soon as possible. Ninja Camouflage Technique Rock Shinobi Dashi heard the movement outside, sneered, turned his head and said to his companion with fire. While speaking, Rock Shinobi's body turned transparent, and he walked out of the cave invisibly. Little girl, it seems that your companion still has some tricks. Then, I should also increase the strength of the illusion. Rock Shinobi looked at Lin with empty eyes, and said with a cold grin. Outside world, if, as Naruto said, all the power is brought in. Well, that should work too. Kakashi, who was hiding in the dark and observing the entrance of the cave, thought in his heart, the cold light in his pupils flashed, and he shouted in a low voice. Sharingan open. The next moment, the black pupil in Kakashi's left eye, like the Uchiha clan, instantly turned into three Tomo Sharingan. Sure enough, it's much easier now. Rock Shinobi Jonin, I see you. Kakashi easily saw the invisible Rock Shinobi Oishi through the powerful insight of his left eye. I am determined. Kakashi, who has the strength of elite Jonin, of course does not mean that without Sharingan, the two rock shinobi cannot be dealt with. It's Kakashi, no surprises. Let Obito or Lin take any damage. Kakashi raised his hand subconsciously to condense Rakery, and touched the white fang short sword behind him without hesitation, and was still there. Obito, this is the last battle I will fight with your eyes. Father, I will not let white fang be cut off here. From now on, I will still be the Hitaki Kakashi who inherited your sword skills. Open the door. Kakashi sighed secretly again in his heart, let out a low drink, his figure turned into an afterimage, and rushed into the cave quickly. Obito here, no, I can't stay here. The risk of being discovered here is too great. Obito, who was staring at the cave, suddenly reacted, a drop of cold sweat dripped from his forehead, whispered softly, and was about to dodge and change his position. Where are you going? 
Just when Obito was about to act, a voice full of murderous intent suddenly came from behind him. Obito's body froze for a moment, and he subconsciously turned his head to look behind him. He saw a sharp kanai, stabbing himself quickly. Are you going to die? In the blink of an eye, Obito just flashed this thought, his body stiffened, and he didn't react in time. At this critical moment, a white light flashed instantly, and Kakashi held the white fang short sword and stopped in front of Obito. Rock Shinobi Dashi was also cut by this sudden attack, a wound was cut on his chest, and he was forced to retreat to the giant tree branch behind him. Kakashi, what are you doing here? You are not. Obito's eyes widened, showing a trace of rejoicing after the catastrophe, and trembled after reacting. Fortunately, he still remembers the situation now, and he didn't say Kakashi's plan to save Lin. However, didn't it be agreed that he would attract the enemy and Kakashi would save Rin? Obito. How could I entrust such a dangerous thing to you? Let's tackle this guy first. Kakashi stared at Rock Shinobi Dashi with cold eyes, and said indifferently with his back to Obito. Kakashi. The pupils in Obito's eyes shrank, and he subconsciously shouted. At this moment, Obito really felt Kakashi's friendship. Silver hair color, plus that white chakra knife. Are you, Konoha's white fang? Rock Shinobi stood up, stared at Kakashi with sweat on his forehead, and asked nervously. Rock Shinobi Jonin is terrified by name alone. Father, I still haven't caught up with you. Kakashi looked down at the white fang in his hand, sighed secretly, stared sharply at Rock Shinobi Dashi, and looked at each other coldly. Rock Shinobi's scalp felt numb from Kakashi's gaze, and he quickly disappeared from his body with one-handed mudra. No, Konoha's white fang can't be this young. If it were him, I would be dead long ago. Brat, you dare to scare me, let us have fun. Rock Shinobi was about to run away, but when he saw Kakashi who was standing still and indifferent, he suddenly realized. Obito, the other party has completely eliminated the smell. Now we can only judge the enemy's position by the slight flow of air or sound. Be careful, Kakashi glanced around and reminded Obito beside him. Where is it? Obito immediately pulled out Kanai and looked around nervously. Come yet. Acting should stop here. Kakashi, who pretended to be nervous, twitched his ears slightly, said secretly, and the figure quickly rushed towards Obito. Obito, watch out behind. Kakashi yelled, and just as he threw himself on Obito, a white light flashed and slashed his face instantly. Kakashi, are you okay? Obito hurriedly helped Kakashi up, reaching out to see Kakashi's wound. Obito, leave me alone. To prevent the enemy from raiding again. Don't be careless. Kakashi lowered his head and covered his left face, humming in a suppressed voice. Obito's eyes froze, staring blankly at Kakashi's trembling body. I'm always just lip-smacking and almost always ask someone to save me. I'm just a wimp who can play tricks. However, I am still talking to Kakashi about cherishing my partners. Could it be that I'm just a good-for-nothing trash? No, I hope those words don't become just words. Now, it's my turn to protect you, Kakashi. Obito's mind was shocked, and he strengthened his heart in an instant, squeezed the kanai in his hand, and looked resolutely at the empty place in front of him. The kanai in his hand stabs forward instantly. No, it's impossible. How could you see me? You, your eyes. Rock Shinobi stared at the kanai inserted into his chest in disbelief and said in shock. Finally, have you opened your eyes? At this moment, Kakashi, who lowered his head, suddenly stood up, looked up at Rock Shinobi, and put his hand on his shoulder. Kakashi, your face. Obito turned his head to look at Kakashi when he heard the words, his eyes were shocked with surprise. There was a crack in Kakashi's left face, and the lightning flashed inside, but no blood flowed out. Well, it's lightning style shadow clone. Kakashi explained, and his figure instantly turned into lightning, hitting the dying rock shinobi Oishi. Accompanied by rock shinobi's unwilling roar, a charred black corpse fell in front of Obito. At the same time, in the cave Kakashi's body trembled slightly, his eyes narrowed slightly, and a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. And in front of Kakashi, there is the rock shinobi flame that was stabbed into the body by Reikuri. Reikuri was originally improved for assassination, and it was silent when attacking. Coupled with the current strength of Kakashi, there is mental arithmetic and unintentional. Rock shinobi's flames were powerless to resist. Kakashi retracted his arm in an instant, closing the sharingan of the left eye. Picking up Lin who was under the illusion, she quickly rushed out of the cave. Kakashi didn't want to stay for a moment longer in the cave where Obito was buried. Kakashi, Rin. 
As soon as the two rushed out of the cave and opened the Obito of Sharingan, they came to the two of them happily and shouted. Congratulations, Obito. Successfully opened Sharingan. Kakashi stared at Obito's scarlet eyes and blessed with emotion. Obito's fate, he changed. Lin, this is. Under the illusion. Untie. Two Tomo Sharingan's insight made Obito clearly see Lin's chaotic chakra flow, raised his hand and patted Lin's body and shouted. Kakashi, Obito. Lin's sluggish eyes instantly recovered, she looked at the two in surprise, and shouted softly. Rin, Kakashi and I got you out. I also turned on Sharingan and I'm not the one that's holding me back anymore. Lin, you don't know, but I persuaded Kakashi to come and save you together. You don't know that at that time, Kakashi was moved to tears. Seeing Lin's cute expression, Obito immediately forgot that this is still a battlefield, and boasted a few words proudly. He leaned closer to Lin's ear again, whispering about Kakashi's embarrassment at that time. Obito, Lin, it's time for us to go on a mission. After all, this is Rock Shinobi's rear area. Kakashi stared at Obito with black lines all over his face, and said coldly. But the corner of the mouth hidden under the mask was really bright. It's such a great feeling to have a partner again. Gone. Kakashi's smile was fleeting, and he urged the two of them to leave here again. Here, after all, is the enemy's rear, Konoha's little devil. Whoever killed this rock shinobi, is that just trying to get away? The brat who dared to go deep into the back of our position. Sure enough, it was not a simple character, and he actually killed Dashi and Huoguang. Should I say that they are trash, or that you are too strong? Suddenly, two arrogant and piercing voices rang in the ears of the three of Kakashi. Kakashi's expression changed, and he suddenly turned his head to look at the side that made the sound. More than a dozen rock shinobi, exuding murderous intent, stared at them with cold and bloodthirsty eyes. The banter and disdain in the eyes of the two rock shinobi who spoke was revealed without any concealment. How come? How did they appear so quickly? Obviously I have controlled the traces of the battle, and I didn't break the stone cave, causing noise. Kakashi stared at the rock shinobi, he felt tense just now, and he secretly said in surprise. Kakashi, who knows the future, knows that there are many rock shinobi around here. Last time, these rock shinobi were attracted by the sound of the cave collapse here. This time, Kakashi specifically used the assassination of Rakuri to prevent this from happening. But these people, why did they still show up? Obito, quickly retreat with Lin. I'll stop them. Before Kakashi had time to think about why, he took out the flying thunder god Kanai and handed it to Lin, and shouted to Obito. Whatever the reason, Mr. Minato will come over in ten minutes. Kakashi is confident, stopping these rock shinobi alone. But, Kakashi. No but. Obito, I know you've always liked Lin. If you don't want Lin to be hurt, just take her away. Don't be wordy, let's go. Kakashi began to seal his hands, and said quickly. The last time he told Lin this was after Obito's death. This time he only has one day to help Obito break through this relationship. As for him, being able to save his partner once, Kakashi is already very satisfied. Lin, leave it to Obito. Kakashi, don't talk nonsense. Kakashi, actually I. Obito and Lin blushed at the same time, and retorted subconsciously. But Kakashi has no time to talk to them, because Rock Shinobi on the opposite side also started to use ninjutsu. Earth style crack the ground and turn your palm. Earth style tuliukut. Kakashi, who knew what ninjutsu Rock Shinobi used for the first time, launched his own counter ninjutsu immediately. Several huge gaps that split the ground quickly extended towards the three of Kakashi. At the same time, one second before Obito and Lin were about to dodge, the land in front of them, as if cut by a knife, was separated by several meters in an instant. Rock Shinobi's earth style attack stopped on the opposite side of the ravine. It's very clever. Superior, Rock Shinobi stared at Kakashi with lightning eyes, snorted coldly, and rushed forward when he mentioned Kanai. Obito, Lin, hurry up. Open the door. Not to be outdone, Kakashi pulled out his white fang short sword, the scarlet in his left eye flashed, he let out a low shout, and quickly went up to him. Kakashi blessed with Sharingan and eight inner gates. The white fang short sword in his hand is attached with his own thunder attribute chakra, which is even more terrifying. The figure turned into a white thunder, flashing around in front of Rock Shinobi. Surprisingly, relying on only one person's strength, he stopped all the Rock Shinobi from advancing an inch. Even at the moment of contact, with lightning speed, they instantly killed the two of them. 
With such a strong record, whether it is Rock Shinobi or Obito and Lin, they are all stunned. Kakashi, you are so powerful, however, I will not abandon my companion Uchiha Obito. Lin, you go first by yourself. Obito opened the scarlet double hook jade, blushed and shouted, and rushed into the battle group with his hands sealed. Because Kakashi's speed was too fast, and he turned his back to the two of them deliberately, Obito didn't see Kakashi's scarlet left eye. Fire style great fireball technique. As soon as Obito sent the great fireball to open the way, using Sharingan's insight, the kanai in his hand was quickly thrown in one direction. In the next second, because a rock shinobi was avoiding Kakashi's white fang, the kanai thrown by Obito instantly scratched his neck. If it wasn't for this rock shinobi's quick reaction and slightly tilted neck, he might have been killed instantly. But even so, Kanai scratched his neck, bleeding profusely. Seeing Obito rushing up, Kakashi frowned, and then let go instantly. Also, it is simply impossible for Obito to leave him and escape. In this case, for the safety of the two of them, you can't keep your hands. Kakashi kicked his opponent away, put the knife back into its sheath in an instant, and formed seals with both hands. Lightning Style Shadow Clone Technique Kakashi gave a low snort, and a lightning style shadow clone appeared beside him again. As soon as lightning style shadow clone appears, activate Chidori at the same time as Kakashi. In just a split second, the entire battle group suddenly appeared, and thousands of birds sang together. What ninjutsu is that? To be able to manifest such a powerful lightning style chakra in your hands. Not good, use ninjutsu to defend. Rock shinobi were instantly frightened by the sudden and powerful lightning style. To be precise, I was shocked by Kakashi's strength before. Chidori is just the straw that breaks the camel's back. Lei Chuan. Kakashi let out a low cry, and collided with Chidori, his lightning-style avatar, and a blue lightning-style chain formed in his hand. Two figures, one on the left and one on the right, quickly rushed around Rock Shinobi, isolated Obito, and dragged the lightning-style chain to attack Rock Shinobi. That's, Sharingan. Am I dazzled? How could Kakashi have a Sharingan? Obito stood there stupidly, muttering to himself as the flash of scarlet kept appearing in his mind. Sharingan that can be closed freely. Could it be that Kakashi is also Uchiha? Obito suddenly understood and said, Uchiha is not a clansman who does not have only one eye. Damn it, this kid Konoha is too powerful, quick retreat. Earth style Tuzhong Ying Yu technique. One of them, Rock Shinobi, looked at the approaching lightning style chains, and finally couldn't bear the fear of death in his heart and quickly closed his seal and shouted. At the same time as the voice fell, the body sank into the ground like a fish, and fled away. That rock shinobi escaped, but the rock shinobi behind him, not everyone, knows how to evade ninjutsu. Also, Kakashi is too fast. In the blink of an eye, only two rock shinobi were lucky enough to escape the attack range of Thunderchuan, and the rest of the rock shinobi were all intercepted. The two rock shinobi who escaped didn't dare to stay longer after seeing this scene, and fled quickly. Who? Dot who? Chakra consumes too much. Fortunately, there was no accident. After rock shinobi escaped, Kakashi quickly closed the opening of the eight inner gates, smiling breathlessly. At the same time, the three Tomo Sharingan in the left eye disappeared instantly. At this moment, Kakashi felt the joy of the Uchiha clan, using Sharingan. His body, no longer having to constantly consume chakra, opens Sharingan. Kakashi. You actually have Sharingan, or Sanguyu. You hide so deeply. Damn you bastard. Is your mother one of our Uchiha people? Seeing the end of the battle, Obito jumped in front of Kakashi. The scarlet Sharingan stared at Kakashi's left eye, and eight trigrams said aggrievedly. Obito. Are you reading it wrong? How could Kakashi have a Sharingan? Kakashi, you are not hurt. Lin also ran over scolded Obito, took out her medical ninja kit bag, and said worriedly. Impossible, it's impossible to get my Sharingan wrong. A Sharingan that can be closed at will, Kakashi definitely has our Uchiha blood. Kakashi, don't worry, I won't tell the clan about this. He he he. From now on, we will be good brothers of the same blood. Obito suddenly thought of something, stared at Kakashi understandingly, patted his shoulder and smiled. In Obito's mind, Kakashi must have done this to avoid trouble. Most importantly, Kakashi just helped him express his heart to Lin. Then Kakashi is his best friend. Uh, Obito. You are dazzled, how can I have a Sharingan? Kakashi said in a rascally perfunctory manner, refusing to admit what happened just now. 
When he returns, there will be no Sharingan. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Obito gave Kakashi a look of, I understand you, pouted his mouth and waved his hands. Apparently when Kakashi was hiding the Sharingan. Kakashi, Obito. Lin opened her beautiful bright eyes, looked at the two quarreling partners, and murmured indistinctly, her eyes curled up like crescent moons. Finally, the two guys agree with each other. It's just that the person I like is obviously you. Kakashi. Thinking of what Kakashi said just now, there was a trace of resentment in Lin's eyes, which was fleeting. When the three of them were bickering and preparing to continue to the Kanabi Bridge. A golden light flashed, and Namikaze Minato appeared in front of the three of them. Yeah, you guys seem to be getting along pretty well. It seems that a lot of things have happened. As soon as Namikaze Minato appeared, his keen nerves captured the whole scene in an instant, rubbed his head and smiled. His gaze, inadvertently swept across Obito's unclosed Sharingan. Teacher Minato, why are you here? Our task is not done yet. We've beaten a lot of rock shinobi though, and I've started Sharingan. You don't know, Kakashi this guy. Seeing the person coming, Obito shouted happily as if he had been beaten with chicken blood. After showing off his Sharingan, he began to complain about Kakashi's hidden strength. Finally, see you again, Teacher Minato. Kakashi's body trembled slightly with excitement, and his heart was full of emotion. In this situation, there are thousands of words for a while, but I don't know how to speak. Okay, Obito. We will talk about these things later. Complete the task first. Seeing Obito's endless state, Namikaze Minato interrupted with his forehead. He glanced at Kakashi with deep meaning in his eyes, and his heart moved. Up. Namikaze Minato let go of the distracting thoughts in his heart, let out a low drink, and rushed towards the Shenwubi bridge at the head of the horse. Kakashi, Obito, Lin, looked at each other and followed quickly. After a few people left a white head drilled out of the ground, and quickly disappeared into the ground. Underground space, Master Madara. Those rock shinobi didn't kill Obito's companions, but were defeated by that guy named Kakashi. And, also, that Kakashi seems to have a Sharingan too. Do you want to go to him directly? A white Zetsu clone emerged from the ground, screaming strangely. They are Uchiha Madara and white Zetsu hidden underground. Sitting on the stone chair, like Uchiha Madara who is dying, he opened his eyes suddenly. The scarlet eyes are especially shining in the dark underground space. The surging chakra wind pressure hit the audience in an instant. Failed? White Zetsu, don't question my decision. Obito, is now the Uchiha clan, the only child with great love. Also my chosen one, he, can't escape. Uchiha Madara's scarlet Sharingan swept over White Zetsu, Gujing said indifferently. As for Kakashi, Uchiha Madara didn't care at all. Uchiha's Sharingan, Uchiha Madara doesn't care at all. What he values, is the potential to turn love into power. Kanabi Bridge more than a dozen rock shinobi were hiding by the bridge and waiting in full force, staring at the four sides with heavy guard. Dongmen, are you sure that Konoha's kid will come and blow up the bridge? Still strong? Kitu, the captain of the rock shinobi guarding the bridge, asked one of the escaped rock shinobi with suspicious eyes. Captain Blazing Earth, that Konoha squad, dared to venture deep into our rear. There is simply no other purpose than this bridge. One of the white-haired little ghosts is very powerful. With his sword skills and lightning style, ordinary Jonin can't resist at all. Seeing this, Rock Shinobi Dongmen hurriedly shared his own analysis in the opponent's intelligence, not daring to hide anything. Dongmen is right, Captain Kitu. That Konoha kid is too strong, he eliminated a dozen of our companions with one move of lightning style. When he appears, we cannot give him a chance to use ninjutsu. Another rock shinobi also echoed, looking around nervously, his calf was slightly weak. The oppression that Kakashi brought to him was really scary. HMPH, I hope you don't lie. I want to see how powerful Konoha's little ghost is. Captain Kitu smiled when he heard the words and snorted coldly. Whoosh whoosh. A dozen kanai suddenly shot out from the deep forest and went straight to the rock shinobi team. Coming, what a childish brat, to use such a mindless attack. The captain, Kitu, slowly turned sideways to avoid the two kanai, and sneered and said disdainfully. Yes. This is not a brainless attack. A cold voice suddenly sounded in Rock Shinobi Kitu's ear. Rock Shinobi was startled, and was about to fight back when he saw a flash of golden light and gradually lost consciousness. It turned out that it was Konoha's yellow flash. Before Rock Shinobi Kitu completely lost consciousness, he thought in horror. At the same time, 
more than a dozen of his subordinates also followed in his footsteps. On the road to Wangchen, he is not alone. Ms. Minato's flying thunder god, no matter how many times I see it, it's still so shocking. If it wasn't for Konoha, Nine Tails wouldn't be able to do anything to Mr. Minato. Kakashi rushed out, staring at the sunny silhouette with mixed feelings, and sighed in his heart. After a few minutes, bang 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 bang. Boom. Following a series of explosions, there was a loud bang. This Kanabi bridge, which was related to the important supply of rock shinobi, fell apart in an instant. The task of the Kakashi team is also completed at this moment. Aha! The task is finally completed and you can go back to the village. Lin. I'll treat you to a big meal when I go back to celebrate my opening of Sharingan. Obito stood by the broken bridge, looking at the rushing river below, turned his head and said excitedly to Lin. Well, take this opportunity to confess to Lin. Kakashi had already tried it for me, and Lin didn't object at that time. Obito thought beautifully in his heart, and glanced at Lin unnaturally. Okay. But call Kakashi and Minato sensei together. Lin seemed to have guessed what Obito was going to do, squinting her eyes and smiling brightly. Obito. Time passed quickly, and it was night. The four of them also went through a quick march and quickly returned to the border of the Land of Fire. Start to rest. Under the starry sky, Lin looked at the sea of flowers in front of her, and walked forward involuntarily. Obito saw that this is a good opportunity, hastily followed Lin out, intentionally or unintentionally leading Lin away from Kakashi and Namikaze Minato. Minato sensei, I want to talk to you. Seeing this, Kakashi also felt that the time was ripe, turned his head to look at Namikaze Minato, and said seriously. Kakashi, I have a question for you too, do you remember something? Namikaze Minato put down the flying thunder god Kanai in his hand, looked up at Kakashi, and said deeply. What do you remember? Kakashi changed the subject of his words when it came to his mouth, he didn't know why. At this time, does he still have any secrets with Mr. Minato? Ha ha ha, nothing, you talk about your business. Namikaze Minato laughed, rubbing the back of his head to ease the atmosphere. Could it be that I was wrong? Kakashi, he didn't think of that memory. Also, even I can't recall that memory. I just vaguely know that there is such a thing, how could Kakashi break through my seal? Namikaze Minato thought about it, and felt that he was thinking too much. Minato sensei, in order to facilitate your trust and understanding, this is the only way. Sharingan open. Kakashi glanced at Obito and Lin in the distance, then stared back at Namikaze Minato, and shouted. Namikaze Minato's pupils dilated suddenly, staring at Kakashi's left eye incredulously, he didn't know what to say. Before Obito, there was no mention of Kakashi's left eye. Sharingan illusion. Kakashi, who has opened the Sharingan, immediately activates the illusion, pulling Namikaze Minato into the illusion space. Kakashi, how do you have a Sharingan? Namikaze Minato regained consciousness instantly, stared at Kakashi's left eye in surprise, and said in surprise. Ms. Minato. This is Obito's left eye. I know this may be hard to understand, but it is what it is. Even I am in a daze now. Kakashi scratched his hair in distress and confessed honestly. Obito's left eye? Kakashi, don't make such jokes. I would rather believe that your mother or family elders once had Uchiha blood. Namikaze Minato said with a strange expression on his face that you were teasing me. I know you don't believe it, but it's the truth. Minato sensei, I am now Kakashi 14 years later. Not the me you saw before. In the future, your son Naruto, with a special machine, sent me here. I only have one day. Minato sensei, you must remember the next words. Kakashi looked sincerely into Namikaze Minato's eyes and spoke loudly. Namikaze Minato's expression changed upon hearing this, and he stared at Kakashi sharply. Naruto, how would Kakashi know the name? Namikaze Minato's shocked expression, in Kakashi's view, was completely normal. Even if it is him, if he hears his disciple say that, it will be the same. At this moment, Kakashi suddenly thought of Naruto. This guy, isn't he coming back from the future Naruto? Ahem. Minato sensei, first let me explain this Sharingan. If I don't come back, Obito will be killed by Rock Shinobi's earth style ninjutsu after opening Sharingan. I also get scratched and blind in my left eye. Before Obito dies, let Lin transplant his eyes to me. This is why I have Sharingan. After I leave tomorrow, I won't have the Sharingan ability. The me now exists with the strength of the future. Kakashi pointed to his left eye and explained with a sigh. You mean, in the original history, 
In this mission, Obito will die. You. Changed history. Namikaze Minato stared sharply at Kakashi with serious eyes, and said seriously. This Kakashi. Why is he so ignorant? Once history is changed, the future must also be affected. Last time in Lulin, I sealed the memory of me and Kakashi just to prevent this situation. Unexpectedly, Kakashi directly changed history this time. Namikaze Minato sighed inwardly, staring helplessly at Kakashi, not knowing what to say for a while. Could it be that, let Obito die normally? No matter how indifferent Obito is, he is also his disciple. It is impossible for Namikaze Minato to know that he is going to die and remain indifferent. Perhaps, this is Kakashi's idea. Yes, I changed history. Also change your destiny. Teacher Minato, Mrs. Kashina, Obito, Lin, I want to change your fate of death. Kakashi didn't know the complexity of Namikaze Minato's heart, so he looked at Namikaze Minato with true feelings, and said every word sonorously. That's why Kakashi chose this time, because he believes that Namikaze Minato, who knows the information in advance, will definitely change those regretful futures. What? Kashina and Rin also. Namikaze Minato's restless heart exploded in his heart like a bomb after hearing Kakashi's words. His eyes widened, and he blurted out nervously. At this moment, Namikaze Minato didn't care about his safety. There is no longer worry about the impact of changing the future. Instead, focus on Kashina and Lin. If this is the future, how could the future Naruto appear in Lulin? Namikaze Minato froze in place for a moment, shocked. Self-sealed memory, he only knows about Lulin and the name of his son Naruto. Others, know nothing. Seeing this, Kakashi didn't think much about it. Anyone who heard this would get this expression, and continued to talk about it. A few months after the Obito incident, Lin will be captured by Mist Shinobi on the Mist Shinobi battlefield. Mist Shinobi will seal three tails in Lin's body, planning to break out three tails and destroy Konoha after Lin returns to the village. In order to prevent Lin from committing suicide, Mist Shinobi set a seal on Lin that cannot harm herself. In this case, in order to protect Konoha, Rin chose to commit suicide by colliding with Maichidori. In other words, Lin voluntarily was killed by me. Kakashi said here with a trembling tone, he could no longer bear the unforgettable pain in his heart, and his eyes became moist again. Lin. Namikaze Minato looked at the weeping Kakashi with relief and distress, and murmured in a low voice. Now, Namikaze Minato also knows the reason why Kakashi can change his character. The death of Obito and Lin will prompt Kakashi to lose his cold-blooded self. Kakashi, I see what you mean. Don't worry, I will do my best to protect Obito and Lin. But there is a question, without their death, would you still be you in the future? Don't you worry, the present you will disappear? Namikaze Minato patted Kakashi's shoulder and said seriously. Kakashi, who was out of control, shrank his pupils and froze on the spot. This situation was something he hadn't considered before. He only wanted to change the fate of a few people, but he didn't think of this. If that's the case, I'll accept it. Maybe, like that, I should be happier. Kakashi took a few deep breaths and pretended not to care. He can't let Namikaze Minato hesitate for the present. This time, it was me who sacrificed. Kakashi. Namikaze Minato saw Kakashi's choice at a glance, and murmured with mixed feelings. How bad is his teacher? Of the three disciples, two died, and one was more mournful than heartbroken. Is he like this really suitable to be the teacher of the three of them? Minato sensei, but I still want to congratulate you. You will become Konoha's fourth Hokage after the war. Seeing that the atmosphere was a bit sad, Kakashi hurriedly changed the topic to let both of them relax. Yes? Fourth generation, I really didn't expect it. I thought the fourth generation would be Master Orochimaru. Namikaze Minato also echoed with a smile, feeling even more worried. Since he can become the fourth generation, he must have died when he was serving as Hokage. It must be a catastrophe for Konoha to let Hokage and Mrs. Hokage die. In such a situation, how much loss will Konoha suffer? Kakashi, then how did Kashina and I die? Thinking of this, Namikaze Minato finally couldn't help asking. Namikaze Minato's questioning reminded Kakashi of that horrible night again. That night, he once again lost the only spiritual support in his heart. Since then, he has fallen into a state of muddle-headed life. Until, after exiting Anbu. Those unbearable memories made Kakashi stand still for a few seconds, then he slowly calmed down and looked at Namikaze Minato emotionally. Ms. Minato, the death of you and Mrs. Kashina's wife. 
It was the night when Mrs. Kashina gave birth and was attacked by an unknown enemy. That person, taking advantage of the weak period of teacher Kashina's delivery, pulled out the nine tails from the teacher's wife. Konoha, the nine tails rebellion broke out. Afterwards, because of traces of nine tails being controlled by Sharingan, that person was suspected to be a member of the Uchiha tribe. At that time, I was restricted from playing because of my young age. The specific situation is unknown. The final result is that you sealed nine tails inside your son Naruto at the cost of your life. Mrs. Kashina and you died in this battle. Konoha also suffered a lot of losses, and many ninjas died. I know, that's it. Kakashi succinctly explained the Nine Tails Rebellion. He really didn't know much about the situation at that time. Nine Tails, Uchiha. Namikaze Minato suddenly understood, and murmured thoughtfully. In this way, he will know the situation of his son Naruto. But now, Namikaze Minato is also caught in a tangle. That is, do you want to change the future? Really change the future? Then the future of Naruto and Kakashi will change. The things that they come from the future to the present, also cease to exist. No, since I still have that memory of Lulin in my mind. That proves that not much has changed in the future. Under such circumstances, the intelligence brought by Kakashi is also the kind that should have appeared in history. But what about Obito's fate? For a while, Namikaze Minato's head got big. This kind of spatio-temporal refutation made Namikaze Minato directly confused. I don't know how to deal with it for a while. Minato sensei, that's all I want to say. Please be sure to change these things so that these tragedies will not happen again. Please, seeing Namikaze Minato, Kakashi bent over and bowed with a confused expression on his face. At the same time, Kakashi dispelled the Sharingan illusion and took back the Sharingan. That illusion space is also a big burden for him. As for the defection of Orochimaru in the Uchiha genocide, Kakashi did not intend to reveal it. Inside, there are many hidden things. During these years in Anbu, he has witnessed a lot of darkness. Teacher, I'll leave it to you later. Kakashi jumped off the rock, smiled sincerely at Namikaze Minato, turned around and went after Obito and Lin. If we say that after today, he is no longer him. Then let today be his last day. Kakashi raised his mouth and ran towards Obito and Lin with a relaxed face. Lin, I actually. When Obito was about to confess his love to Lin, Kakashi, an unlucky guy, appeared beside them. Suddenly, the ambiguous scene turned into an arrogant scene of Obito and Kakashi bickering. And, Lin's happy laughter like silver bells. At this moment, Kakashi let go of everything, as if returning to that arrogant genius boy. Spend your youth wantonly. Kakashi, Obito, Rin. Namikaze Minato sat alone on the boulder, looking at the three disciples fighting in the distance, and muttered with complicated eyes. Call, Kakashi, even you have the awareness of self-sacrifice. Then how can I, as a teacher, fall behind? This time, I will go all out. It will definitely change our destiny. However, I won't let you disappear, Kakashi. Namikaze Minato let out a long sigh, the worries in his heart tilted instantly, and he said with firm determination. The time soon came to the next day. Under the deliberate arrangement of Namikaze Minato, a group of four people slowly headed towards the village as if traveling in mountains and rivers. Kakashi also understands Namikaze Minato's heart, and enjoys this memorable good time. But happy time is always short. Time soon came to say goodbye. Minato sensei, I leave those things to you. Thank you so much for the brief happy time you gave me. Kakashi, who was following behind Obito and Lin, suddenly fell behind a few steps, and sighed softly beside Namikaze Minato. Are you leaving? Kakashi, don't worry. I will do what you said, definitely. Namikaze Minato paused his walking pace, turned his head to look at this familiar face, with a trace of reluctance in his eyes, and nodded in a sense of loss. Um. Kakashi nodded like sunshine, and the Sharingan in the left eye suddenly appeared, bursting out all the power of the pupil, planting an illusion and psychological suggestion for himself. After a while, Kakashi, who was walking normally, suddenly stopped and froze in place. The memory of this day emerged in his mind. In the memory of the boy Kakashi, he and Obito successfully rescued Lin after a thrilling battle. Obito also opened Sharingan, and after they were besieged by Rock Shinobi, Namikaze Minato arrived at the critical moment and dealt with Rock Shinobi. However, the boy Kakashi does not know why, but always has a deep sense of powerlessness. This feeling made him eager to continue improving his strength. Kakashi, let's go. 
Suddenly, Namikaze Minato's voice rang in his ear, which woke up Kakashi in a daze. Oh, here we come. The boy Kakashi let go of the complicated things in his heart, and quickly chased forward. But he didn't notice that the silence in Namikaze Minato's eyes was fleeting. Konoha 60 years still that familiar night. The time is the second after Naruto pressed the life rebuilding machine. Naruto saw that Kakashi's figure was unreal for a moment, and then appeared again. The Konoha forehead protector, which was worn obliquely before, is worn squarely on Kakashi's forehead. The scar on the left eye has disappeared. Behind him, a short sword carrying a scabbard is on Kakashi's back. There was a flash of light in the dark eyes, and a sharp saber intent erupted. The black pupil of the left eye suddenly changed to three Tomo Sharingan, and then quickly changed to Kamui Mangekyo. The aura on his body rose rapidly, under Naruto's stunned eyes, no less intimidating than a shadow, bloomed instantly. After two breaths, all the momentum and Sharingan quickly faded away, Kakashi's slightly drunk eyes looked straight at Naruto. Tip. Change Hitaki Kakashi's life trajectory and get 5,000 Honkai points. Tip. Change the fate trajectory of Nohara Lin and get 5,000 Honkai points. Hint. Change Uchiha Obito's life trajectory to get 500 Honkai points. A series of three prompts sounded in Naruto's ear. But these notification sounds gave Naruto a toothache. If it is a real change, it is absolutely impossible to have such a small point of collapse. Sure enough, this still happened. The unexpected. Uchiha Madara. The name flashed across Naruto's eyes. In Hokage, there has been a lot of debate about Uchiha Obito being tricked by Madara. Some say it was an accident, some say it was planned for a long time. Naruto thought about this before, but he didn't tell Kakashi. Just because he wants to make sure that changing the past can affect the future. Uchiha Madara is not something Namikaze Minato and Kakashi can deal with. He can't play himself away. So, What's up with Kakashi's eyes? When Naruto was imagining, Kakashi was also in a daze. His will has not changed without being affected. It's just that there are some more, changed memories. In his memory, after they returned to the village, Namikaze Minato arranged for him and Obito to enter Anbu, and Lin was also sent to Konoha Hospital. In this case, Minato Ban should have started a new life in peace. But the good times don't last long, Mist Shinobi's war is tense and there are not enough manpower. Namikaze Minato is not in Konoha village because he is out on a mission. Under the arrangement of 3rd Hokage, the Minato squad, the three of them, Might Guy, Shiranui Genma, Ebisu and other teams stepped into the Mist Shinobi battlefield. During a mission, the three of them were attacked by Mist Ninja, and Obito lost his left eye and was seriously injured. He was in a dilemma again. At this time, Obito threatened to commit suicide and asked him to take Lin to retreat. In desperation, Kakashi retreated safely with the reluctant Lin under the cover of Obito's desperate efforts. After that, Lin mysteriously disappeared while treating the wounded in the Konoha camp. Then came the news that Lin was attacked and died in battle. Then, it was him who trained crazily and performed tasks to improve his strength. And then, there's the Nine Tails Rebellion. At that time, Kakashi, who practiced hard, was already a veritable Jonin, and participated in the battle with Nine Tails. Kakashi clearly remembers that Namikaze Minato told him before he died, let him not be sad, and we will meet again in the future. If so, these memories Kakashi can barely accept. But what happened to the sudden emergence of Sharingan? Naruto. Ms. Kakashi. Full of doubts, the two spoke at the same time, but were interrupted by the other's exit. Ms. Kakashi, you go first. Naruto was not in a hurry, and raised his hand to signal Kakashi to speak first. Kakashi, who was full of doubts, was not polite, and quickly described the cause and effect of the matter. At this time, Kakashi already thought that Naruto was not a simple existence. Sure enough, is Uchiha Madara behind the scenes? But Nohara Lin has so many breakdown points, could it be? Changing the past will affect the future, which is not good news. But Kakashi's eyes. Naruto was suspicious, and immediately split his mind to find Doraemon. Doraemon. That's the way it is, what do you think is the situation? Naruto relayed Kakashi's situation and looked at Doraemon eagerly. This, let me think about it. Doraemon crossed his arms and tilted his head in thought. I see, this is the correction of the will of the world. Under the correction of the will of the world, that Kakashi will have the non-existent eye. Doraemon suddenly realized that he patted his head and said to Naruto. 
Revision of the will of the world. In other words, it is impossible for us to change the future and destroy the will of the world? Naruto was shocked when he heard the words, and hurriedly asked. Of course not. It can't be changed, so how did your collapse point come from? This is because, in the present timeline, those things are things that have already happened. In the memory of the will of the world, he is that kind of existence. The future has not happened yet. Then we can mislead Honkai. Doraemon waved his hands calmly and explained. Naruto breathed a sigh of relief. Why didn't he expect that the Honkai point is such a simple and rude proof? The meaning of Doraemon is like a director making a movie. Now one third of the shooting has been done, and the previous ones are basically dead. Even if it is modified, it is a slight modification and some small adjustments. As for the following plot, although the director holds the script in his hand. But it was not filmed, and no one knew what kind of story was actually presented. What Naruto and Doraemon have to do is to mislead the direction of the story and let him smash the story. The director has also fallen into the mundane world. Doraemon, I still want to ask. Are there props that change the past without affecting the present? Naruto let go of his worries about the future and asked anxiously. If the changes in the past were to be restricted, and if it might not exist, the role of the time machine would be greatly weakened. Yes, I have. The, if the phone booth, you mentioned last time can make this world a parallel world, unaffected by the past and the future. However, the cheapest one-time item also needs 100,000 crash points. Naruto, you don't have to think about that now. Doraemon spread his hands helplessly, but he quickly calculated the current breakdown point in his mind, and prepared to get some entertainment facilities for himself. I see. As long as there is a way to do it. Naruto nodded with his eyes shining, his heart was too beautiful. It's only 100,000, isn't it already 10,000 now? The collapse of the Chunin exam, no matter what, there must be tens of thousands. Add a small goal to turn this world into a parallel ninja world. Well, now the crash point of Naruto has a total of 10,590 points. Outside world, Ms. Kakashi. This is the influence of the world, allowing the strength of the two of you to merge. Nothing. You're half a Uchiha. Knowing the secret, Naruto laughed at Kakashi. Is that so? Well, Naruto, can I know, who are you? Or rather, which Naruto are you? Kakashi stared at Naruto intently, Mangekyo with scarlet left eyes seemed to see through Naruto's heart. Ms. Kakashi. Some things, I don't know how to say. I can only tell you that I am Uzumaki Naruto from Konoha village. Naruto didn't want to weave any lies, the eyes in the pupils changed rapidly, and the two scarlet Mangekyo Sharingan looked at each other without showing any weakness, and said indifferently. These eyes. I got it, Naruto. Kakashi's pupils shrank, and after taking a deep breath, he removed his Sharingan, sighing with complicated eyes. With a radius of a hundred miles, there is no danger at all. Rest, Mr. Kakashi. Seeing this, Naruto also retracted the Sharingan, stretched and yawned, then jumped onto the roof of a carriage, closed his eyes and rested. Kakashi smiled indifferently, stretched out his hand and pulled out the white fang short sword behind his back, and was slightly lost in thought. Rewind the time to the previous few minutes. At the same time as Kakashi came back, Uchiha Obito, who was hidden in an underground space, suddenly had a strong figure flickering indistinctly. The half of the body that had been smashed into pieces recovered strangely. It's just that under the skin of the clothes, at the horrible wounds, yellow and white coexist. Lin, wait for me. I will definitely create a world with you. Obito's right eye instantly turned into an inverted sickle-shaped Mangekyo Sharingan, shouting with a suppressed voice. At this time, in Obito's memory, he was rescued by the elderly Uchiha Madara after desperately covering the retreat of Kakashi and Rin. At that time, his body was deeply traumatized. Uchiha Madara repaired White Zetsu's body with a part of his body. While he recovered from his injuries, he went to find Kakashi and Rin. I saw that Mr. Minato secretly kidnapped Lin. With the help of White Zetsu's ability, Obito restrained his breath and quickly followed. But in front of the Flying Thunder God technique, he still lost track. Then, White Zetsu inquired about the fact of Lin's death. This news caused Obito to collapse instantly, and also opened the Mangekyo in his right eye. Also at that moment, Obito felt like he was in hell. In this world, apart from hatred, there is nothing left to miss. Including that best friend, Hitaki Kakashi, it's just because he didn't protect Lin well. After that it was agreed to Uchiha Madara's project to Suki no Mi. 
unleash the Nine Tails Rebellion and take revenge on Namikaze Minato. For these memories and changes, Obito did not show any abnormalities. As if, things were supposed to be like this. Next day after a night's rest, the Ito team set off again. Naruto and Kakashi continued on their way as if nothing happened. For Kakashi's new look, Sasuke, small Sakura, and the client did not respond. In their impression, Kakashi should have been like this. After five days of rushing, everyone came to the country of the river without any surprises and completed the escort mission. After all, not every sea level mission will be in the same situation as Dasna. If that's the case, Konoha village would have been closed down by the mission. Sasuke, do you want to go out for a walk? This is our first time out of the village, isn't it? It's going abroad. After completing the task, little Sakura immediately stepped forward to invite Sasuke. No, I still have to go to training. Sasuke still refused with that dragging look. Is that so? Um, Naruto, do you want to go out and have a look together? The little Sakura was lost and depressed for two seconds, then turned her head and extended an invitation to Naruto. Naruto, who lost his beard, is now a sunny and handsome guy. Plus Naruto doesn't fawn over her or play pranks like he used to. The little Sakura now has a somewhat changed attitude towards Naruto. Wei Wei also felt a little lost and unaccustomed, wondering if there was something wrong with her. Well, strength is also one of the reasons. Still licking Sasuke? Then I have a surprise for you, little Sakura. Naruto chuckled inwardly, shook his head and rejected Sakura's proposal, turned around and followed Kakashi to the hotel. They will rest here for one night before returning to Konoha at full speed. How so, no one wants to hang out with me. Sasuke is like this, Naruto is like this, I'm really bad enough. Little Sakura reluctantly followed behind the three of them, and muttered dissatisfied with her little mouth. Sealed space, Doraemon, I want a permanent gender changer. Do you have any here? Naruto's conscious body came to the sealed space, faced Doraemon across the door, and asked a little excitedly. That's right, he's going to turn Sasuke into a woman. It's not that Naruto is so hungry that he wants a harem man. In this, it's not just about changing Sakura and Ino's love for Sasuke. The collapse of the male second, there is still a point of collapse. For popular women in Hokage, Naruto doesn't want to use props to control them to fall in love with him unless necessary. That is not a good choice except for the temporary satisfaction of desires. But, Naruto doesn't want to be a licking dog either. He's going to stand up and take these women into his pocket. This is a little difficult. Then, the simplest and most effective way is to kill the competitors first or change the personality. Uh, there's also Naruto's bad taste in it. What strange reaction will Uchiha Itachi have when he returns and sees his stupid brother turned into a sister? When the cold and arrogant second pillar becomes the arrogant second lady, what kind of bewildering scene will it be? Permanently change gender? Most of my things here are temporary. Hey, there is. One time cheating beak, 5000 points. Naruto, this is a terrifying prop that can turn lies into truth. But also because of this, it was greatly suppressed by the will of the world. But you said that changing a person's gender can still be done. By the way, what are you going to do with this? You don't want to be a girl. Doraemon took out a golden beak, looked at Naruto strangely and said worriedly. What the hell, isn't it just saying what you say? If there is such a thing, it will not be too big to fly. Just say a word casually, and the plot will be changed, and the world will be destroyed. Unfortunately, it is temporarily restricted. But also, there is no limit, my 5000 crash points are impossible to win. Naruto stared at the deceitful beak with bright eyes, and thought regretfully. Of course not. What am I doing as a woman? I'm going to use this to get Honkai points. Naruto reached out to take the deceitful beak, and explained casually. Get collapse points? Doraemon looked at Naruto suspiciously, touched his round head and said in doubt. Just wait for the prompt and you will know. At this time, Naruto was in no mood to explain something to Doraemon, left a sentence, and left the sealed space with a deceptive beak. After returning to consciousness, Naruto left the hotel impatiently and went to the roof. Looking left and right for a while, Naruto found Sasuke exercising. Naruto gave a smirk, followed quickly, and put on a deceptive beak. Sasuke, it's actually a girl. Naruto hid in the dark, lowering his voice excitedly. When Naruto finished speaking, the deceitful bird's beak hanging on his mouth emitted a faint golden light and disappeared instantly. Sasuke, who was training not far away, 
suddenly fell to the ground exhausted as if he had overdone the special training. Then, the clothes on his upper body bulged slightly, and a part of his lower body changed instantly. Sasuke, who was almost in a coma, didn't feel any changes at this time. Tip. Change the character of Uchiha Sasuke to get 5000 Honkai points. Naruto heard the beep, and immediately looked at the unconscious Sasuke with bright eyes. The male second is indeed the male second, this is equivalent to a Kakashi. Immediately, Naruto fled quickly, hiding credit and fame. After a few minutes Sasuke's consciousness came to him, and just as he was about to continue training, he felt something was wrong. Looking down, Sasuke looked dazed. How so? How could I have such a thing? Impossible, absolutely impossible. Sasuke observed carefully for a moment, then stretched out his hand to feel the reality, and roared like a madman. Then, Sasuke thought of something more terrifying, and ran to the hotel quickly. Inside the hotel after washing up, Sasuke lay on the tatami mat with blank eyes, doubting life. In those pupils, two black guyu appeared in his pupils respectively. Just now, Sasuke, who couldn't accept this reality, was so angry that he opened his eyes. Next room Naruto is also thinking about how to continue to squeeze Sasuke's wool. Correct. Isn't Sasuke able to give up all existence for power? Then make a breakthrough from here. Naruto suddenly slapped his head, his eyes sparkling with thought. Then, my mind sank into the sealed space again, and I went to find Doraemon. After a while, Drip, the goddess of perfection system is loaded. Drip, the host gender switch has been completed. Drip, release the only mission, become the number one goddess in the ninja world. Drip, the mission rewards will be distributed according to 10% of the completion. Drip, now give out novice rewards, integrate Hashirama cells. Sasuke, who was in a daze, suddenly heard a series of strange voices in his ears. Just when he was about to question something, his head became dizzy and he lost consciousness instantly. In the next second, Naruto's figure appeared in Sasuke's room. Sasuke, I'll let you experience what it's like to be the main character. This is enough bro. Naruto chuckled, took out a machine, and placed it beside the fainted Sasuke. This is a prop, super blender, which can perfectly blend different things together. Before Naruto got Danzo's Hashirama cell, he had no money to rent props. Now, it happens to be two things for one thing. One interface was placed on Sasuke's body, and the other was attached to a small piece of Hashirama cell. Then, Naruto activates the switch of the machine. Breathing room, Sasuke and Hashirama cells, are sucked in by both interfaces. Seconds later, brand new Sasuke, spit out by the super blender. Naruto glanced at the unconscious Sasuke, quickly put away the props, turned and left. Next, turn on wood style. This terrifying prop is only valid for three minutes, so I have to hurry up. Naruto returned to his room, took out the remaining Hashirama cells, and began to operate. After Naruto activated the switch button again, he felt a whirlwind, and the huge suction instantly sucked him into the super blender. Moments later, Naruto was sprayed out by the super blender and stood in the room again. Is this what wood style feels like? Moreover, it seems that the integration is not limited to these. Naruto stretched out his palm, a piece of wood suddenly appeared from his hand, and then he felt something, and murmured in surprise, chakra poured into his eyes. In the next instant, Naruto's left eye turned into white eyes, and his right eye turned into distinguished heavenly gods Mangekyo. Switching again in an instant, the left eye becomes Kamui Mangekyo, and the right eye becomes Bayan. Two eyes, which can be switched at will. And Naruto clearly felt that his control over his eyes was more relaxed and subtle. Ha ha ha. This time I really made a lot of money. This super blender is indeed a practical item worth 5000 points. Naruto growled in surprise, and happily began to study Wood Style's ability. Next room the comatose Sasuke opened his eyes in a daze, his head was dizzy. Just now, did you have hallucinations? Sasuke thought of the horror of becoming a girl, and the few strange mechanical sounds he heard later, and said in a deep voice in surprise. No, my voice. Just as Sasuke opened his mouth, he suddenly sensed something was wrong, and sat up in horror. Really, I've become a girl. After Sasuke checked his body again, he muttered with an ugly face. No, my chakra. Sasuke's complexion changed again, and he murmured with weird eyes, closing his eyes to realize his own chakra. In just a moment, Sasuke opened his eyes in surprise, showing surprise. His chakra actually increased tenfold. This is simply unbelievable. 
Sharingan open. Thinking of his state before coma again, Sasuke quickly came to the mirror and gave a light drink emotionally. In the mirror, on the face with clear features and fine features, the dark eyes instantly changed into scarlet, and two black hook jades were reflected on each of them. Two Tomo Sharingan, really opened my eyes. Ha ha ha, the purpose of my existence is to kill that man. Even if I turned into a girl out of nowhere, it didn't affect my determination to kill that man. As long as the strength is improved. Staring at the slightly delicate face in the mirror, Sasuke called out softly. That goddess system, what kind of existence are you? After Sasuke vented and suppressed his voice and laughed wildly, the prompt sounded, and he shouted with fiery eyes. Drip. This system is called the perfect goddess system. It aims to train host to become the number one goddess in the ninja world. Every time you complete a stage of growth, you will get a system reward until the host becomes a perfect goddess. Host has three question permissions. After the question and answer is completed, the system assistant is temporarily closed. Countdown. Three minutes. It was that emotionless mechanical voice again, ringing in Sasuke's ear. Hearing this, Sasuke couldn't help twitching the corners of his mouth with a black face when he was pleasantly surprised. It doesn't matter what you are, as long as it makes me stronger. Tell me, how to become stronger quickly? Sasuke is also a clever little guy. He didn't waste any questions about the existence of the system, and got straight to the point. Hey, host is now physically a woman. As long as it is completely feminine in terms of psychology, personality, name, clothing, strength, etc. From all aspects, if you overwhelm all the women in the ninja world, you can get rewards at different stages and become stronger. Although Sasuke was prepared in his heart, he was still shown off by this way of becoming stronger. This is, do you want him to act like other women? Does character have to be feminine? Sasuke suppressed the shame in his heart and asked unwillingly. Drip, it has to be feminine. However, there are also many types of feminine personalities, such as cute, gentle, willful, independent, quiet, unrestrained, sexy, charming, pungent, and arrogant. You can choose the right character by yourself, become your own main character, and become the perfect goddess. When Sasuke heard the last option, his eyes lit up, and it was it. Drip, time is up, the system assistant is temporarily closed. Friendly reminder. Do not disclose the existence of the system, otherwise all rewards will be withdrawn. Just as Sasuke was about to open his mouth to ask the last question, the mechanical voice reminded him, and then disappeared. If it weren't for the soaring chakra and feminine body, Sasuke would have thought he was dreaming or hallucinating. Do not care, as long as you can gain power, you can do anything. That guy, I must kill him. Sasuke looked at the scarlet Sharingan in the mirror, with deep hatred flashing in his eyes, he shouted coquettishly. She still doesn't know that she already has the basic wood style and the ability to restore physical strength super fast, and the growth of chakra is just a side effect. Next room hint. Change the trajectory of Uchiha Sasuke's life and get 1000 Honkai points. As soon as Naruto put away the telepathic communicator, he heard a prompt in his ear. Yes, it's a good start. This spiritual communicator is only 10 o'clock for an hour. Not bad at all. The crash points and rewards of the deceitful bird's beak are tied, and the super blender is 5,000 points. I still have 6,580 points, it's okay. Naruto silently calculated his current breakdown point, and thought cheerfully. Next day Naruto, refreshed, walked out of the room with his luggage and school bag on his back. Kakashi was already ready to go, sitting on the chair by the door, looking at his little red book board. Morning. Naruto. When Naruto came to Kakashi, Kakashi took the initiative to put down the little red book and said hello. Ms. Kakashi, it seems that you got up quite early. I remember you last night, but you came back very late. This is not your style. Naruto glanced at Kakashi teasingly, and joked with a smile. Uh. I'm used to getting up early. Kakashi thought of this, the corners of his mouth hidden under the mask couldn't help twitching, and he sighed helplessly. Because he gave the young Kakashi an illusion hint before, the young Kakashi was haunted by a sense of crisis every day. I don't train at night and don't sleep until midnight, and I have to get up early in the morning to add morning exercises. Kakashi, whose two bodies are fused, also inherits this. Even if he dispelled the illusion hint, the habit of many years has already been imprinted in his bones. Well, this is also something that makes Kakashi both headache and happy. Without that Kakashi's persistence for many years, he would not have the current strength. Mr. Kakashi, Naruto, good morning. 
The energetic little Sakura came out of the hotel with her luggage on her back and shouted pretty. Little Sakura, who didn't go shopping yesterday, fell asleep in the hotel directly, and now she is very energetic. What? What about Sasuke? Has he always been punctual? Did you go out for training? The little Sakura came in front of the two, looked left and right, looked around, rubbed her chin and said in doubt. No, I've been waiting here before dawn. Sasuke didn't come out. Maybe it was because I was too tired from training yesterday and overslept. Kakashi touched his head and responded with a smile. That's it. Then I'll call him. Little Sakura's eyes lit up instantly, and she ran into the hotel without saying a word. Being able to wake up the male god is a great benefit for little Sakura. In other words, she hasn't seen Sasuke lying in bed yet. There is a good show to watch. Naruto looked at the back of little Sakura leaving, and thought badly in his heart. What, who are you? You shameless bitch, how dare you attack my Sasuke at night? I fought with you. As soon as Naruto's thoughts fell, little Sakura's angry shouts came from the hotel. What happened to Sasuke? Kakashi, who looked lazy, suddenly changed his momentum, and his figure disappeared in front of Naruto in an instant. Kakashi at the cage level is really strong. Possibly, already the second Konoha's white fang. Naruto sighed in a low voice, didn't go over, and directly opened his eyes to watch from a distance. In Sasuke's room little Sakura was indignantly captured by this girl who resembled Sasuke, and the anger in her heart became even stronger. How? How could this be? Sasuke's first time, actually let this woman. Now, still wearing Sasuke's clothes, it's unforgivable. However, she can't beat this woman, it's so irritating. Who are you? Let go of little Sakura. Kakashi's figure appeared behind Sasuke in an instant as if teleporting, and the sharp Kunmeide spoke coldly on her neck. So fast. Is this the true strength of Kakashi? Could it be? What Mr. Guy said is true. Is Kakashi really the genius he wants to chase all his life? Sasuke felt the cold killing intent in the kanai that might pierce his neck at any time, and this thought flashed in his mind instantly. The current Kakashi, except for the image, everyone agrees that it is what it is now. The previous record and title have not changed. Ms. Kakashi, I am Sasuke. Little Sakura never gave me a chance to explain. Sasuke let go of the hands that imprisoned little Sakura, and said frankly indifferently. Impossible. How could you be Sasuke? Sasuke can't be a girl. After the little Sakura was released, she pointed at Sasuke's chest and growled even more angrily. How is this possible? How can you prove it? Kakashi also had a look of disbelief, but he still took back the kanai in his hand and questioned. Sharingan open. Sasuke didn't talk nonsense, he shouted coquettishly, his dark eyes instantly turned into Scarlet II Tomo Sharingan. He turned to look directly at Kakashi. Kakashi's calm state of mind exploded in an instant. This, how is this possible? Staring at Sasuke in surprise, he exclaimed in disbelief. Sasuke, you really turned into a girl. The little Sakura also stared at Sasuke's eyes blankly, and said with confusion. Actually, my name is Seiko Uchiha. I used to be a woman disguised as a man, but I was discovered by little Sakura today, so I will confess. Sasuke thought of the reminder last night, a trace of shame appeared on his face, he gritted his teeth and slammed the jar. It is better to accept a woman disguised as a man than a boy changing into a girl. The road to the goddess starts with changing the name. Uchiha Seiko? Dress up as a man. Kakashi froze for a moment, and looked at Sasuke with the expression that you were teasing me, uh, it's Sasuke now. Is this playing with his janin like a monkey? Boys and girls, he can't tell the difference? The Mangekyo Sharingan in Kakashi's left eye instantly appeared, and he looked at Seiko carefully with powerful insight. But no matter how you look at it, it's not something that can be done in disguise. Ms. Kakashi, you have those eyes too. Seiko stared at Mangekyo in Kakashi's left eye, and suddenly said in surprise. Kakashi's Sharingan exists in Sako's memory. Nothing but the form of the three Tomo Sharingan. Well, you can freely close Sharingan, which is also a fact that everyone defaults to. This is the terrifying influence of world modification. This. That's a sad story. Seiko, right. I'm curious, how on earth did you trick us? Kakashi withdrew the Mangekyo Sharingan made a casual perfunctory sound, and questioned the Sharingan who looked at Seiko. This pair of Sharingan can indeed prove Sako's Uchiha identity. This is my secret, no comment. Anyway, I am the old Sasuke. It's not a counterfeit. Zuozi also temporarily gave up the idea of 
asking questions, raised his head and said arrogantly. In fact, in my heart, I can't panic, yes? Then go back to Konoha. Kakashi gave Seiko a meaningful look, shrugged and walked towards the door. Everyone has a secret. Now Naruto and him have their own secrets. One more Sasuke is not unacceptable, Ms. Kakashi. How can you do this? How could she be Sasuke? Little Sakura was awakened by Kakashi's action, pointed at Sako's chest angrily and scolded. Such an existence, two circles older than her, how could it be a man disguised as a woman? She does not accept this result. It's okay, it's okay. Let's talk about these little things when we get back to the village. Kakashi continued to go downstairs without stopping, turning his back to the little Sakura and said lazily and perfunctorily. Little Sakura, do you know why I hated your overtures before? Because, I have always been a girl. Seiko also went all out, and came to the little Sakura in two steps, snorted coldly, and followed Kakashi downstairs. What, what, what? I don't want this kind of thing. Actually, I have been robbing Eno for a girl. What, I'm really going to be stupid? The little Sakura stood there in embarrassment, scratching her hair, and laughed at herself loudly like crazy. But with such a fact, little Sakura had no choice but to walk out of the hotel with her head drooping. You said you were Sasuke? Naruto stared at Seiko pretending to be surprised, and said in shock. Naruto, don't be surprised. You will gradually get to know each other. Now we go to have breakfast before heading back to Konoha. Kakashi patted his forehead helplessly, interrupting Naruto's exclamation, ordering weakly. Okay, Mr. Kakashi. Naruto also borrowed the donkey from the slope, and responded as if he was suffering. Eyes, but unconsciously glanced at Sako's figure. Well, this scale is a bit out of the ordinary. Naruto, look at me with that strange look again, be careful I'll kill you. Seiko keenly captured Naruto's movements, stared at Naruto with sharp eyes, and shouted coquettishly. Uh, no no, I'm just curious, curious. Naruto hurriedly laughed and perfunctory and walked to the front quickly. Damn, why can't I control my eyes? Is it true that if you have a good face and a good figure, you can relax your gender? Uh, I can't think about it anymore. Still think about Big Tsunade, Big Hanada, these popular goddesses to decompress. Naruto, who was full of imaginings, shivered suddenly, and hurriedly suppressed the strange thoughts in his heart. Naruto. Little Sakura, who was following Seiko, saw the interaction between Naruto and Seiko, and suddenly felt a sense of crisis for some reason. If Sasuke is really Sasuke, then her only ideal boyfriend is Naruto. Among the ninjas in the same period, Akamichi Choji, Inazuka Pressure, and Aburame Shino were directly ignored because of image problems. The remaining one, Narashikamaru, is a little slacker, and she doesn't like it either. From this point of view, Naruto, who has outstanding appearance and powerful strength, is the only choice. But now Naruto seems to have a normal attitude towards her. Hateful. How so, Sasuke, if you're really Sasuke, you'd be disgusting. Thinking of this, little Sakura stared at Sako's slender back with red eyes, and roared unwillingly in her heart. Well, little Sakura will not admit that Seiko is better than her in every aspect. Konoha in a remote compound away from the Hyuga tribe. Daytime uncle, Iroha uncle, Firegate uncle, Tokuma uncle, Naizuki uncle. I came to you today to discuss important matters concerning the fate of our branch house. For the sake of confidentiality, please uncle. Hyuga Neji stared at the twelve branch house John in eagerly and excitedly, and said politely with a trembling tone. Is it about the fate of our branch house? Neji, don't talk about it. Although you are the first genius of Hyuga, remember who we are. Your father was also the senior who guided our cultivation back then. If that's the case, don't talk about it. Let's pretend we don't know. Hyuga Iroha sighed softly, looked at Hyuga Neji bitterly and said in a deep voice. Yes, with the existence of Caged Bird, our fate is sealed. How to talk about the fate of the branch house? Neji, if you're going to do that, you don't have to ask. Hyuga Firegate also seemed to think of something, looked at Hyuga Neji with a complicated expression inside. Neji, this matter. I'll just pretend I haven't been here today. Everyone is a senior ninja, and everyone has been tacitly aware of Hyuga Neji's sneaky call. But the horror of caged bird still makes them flinch. Hyuga Neji's heart sank when he saw that before he could speak, these clan uncles guessed his purpose from a few words. But when he saw that no one was going to tell the truth, and everyone was pretending to be confused, he was secretly relieved. It was not in vain for him to find them, 
the branch house Jonan who had been bullied by the clan. Then what if there is no caged bird? Hyuga Neji gritted his teeth, stretched out his hand and pulled off the forehead protector, exposing his smooth forehead and said excitedly. Immediately, the twelve branch house Jonan present stared at Hyuga Neji's forehead in disbelief, and their complexions changed drastically. Twelve heavy and rapid breathing sounds, one after another in this room. Konoha Hokage Office, Master Third Generation, the seventh team has successfully completed the task. It's just that there is a small problem in the middle, and you need to investigate the file. Uchiha Sasuke, is it male or female? Kakashi came to Hokage's office alone, touched his nose in embarrassment, and reported. Naruto and the three of them were disbanded after entering the Konoha Gate. Serutobi Hirazan, who was as steady as an old dog, almost dropped the pipe in his mouth when Kakashi asked him this sudden question. Look what this is saying. Can't tell if it's male or female. Kakashi. Why are you asking that? This is your reward for this mission. Serutobi Hirazan slowly took out a stack of tickets from the drawer and put them on the table, looked at Kakashi strangely and said. That look, as if Kakashi was blind. Ahem. What? In this mission, we accidentally discovered that Sasuke is a girl. He said that he used to be a woman disguised as a man, and her real name is Uchiha Seiko. Kakashi coughed dryly and explained with strange eyes. What? Uchiha Seiko? Are you sure he is a girl? Hearing this, Serutobi Hirazan was so shocked that his jaw almost dropped, he wondered in amazement. Pretty sure, she's a girl now. Sir third generation, can I check Sasuke's birth certificate? Kakashi nodded seriously and continued to ask. Are you sure? Call, the archives of the Uchiha family died along with that incident. No birth certificate could be found. Since it is confirmed that he is Uchiha Sasuke, please observe more. Serutobi Hirazan had a lot of thoughts in his mind, and after taking a long breath, he said calmly. At the beginning, Danzo destroyed all personnel files of the Uchiha clan in order to swallow Uchiha's Sharingan. It is impossible to verify Sasuke's birth status now. Moreover, with Uchiha's illusion, it is easy to manipulate it. Clear. Kakashi immediately understood Serutobi Hirazan's meaning and answered solemnly. Is Itachi playing tricks in the dark? Or the Uchiha clan? What other plans did they have in the first place? Forget it. Gender doesn't matter at all as long as she's not a threat to Konoha. With Kakashi watching, nothing should happen. The agreement between me and Itachi must continue to be fulfilled. After Kakashi left, Serutobi Hirazan looked at the crowd outside the window, worry and determination flashed in his eyes, and he made up his mind. The other side Seiko stood in front of a certain shop with an embarrassed face, looking at the shameful clothes inside, hesitating. Her current clothes don't match her figure extremely. The simplest task is to start with the name and clothing. Now, Seiko is going to change his clothes, but she didn't know anything about these things. Originally, little Sakura was the best candidate, but now little Sakura has a lot of opinions on her. Seiko was daunted by the man's shame. Student, why are you here? Uh, sorry, I got the wrong person. You and my junior look so much alike. When Zuozi was having an ideological struggle, a familiar voice rang in her ears. Sister Tianchen? Seeing the person coming, Zuozi subconsciously shouted. You, you, are you Sasuke? Damn, I really misread you. I didn't expect you to be like this, you little pervert. After subconsciously exclaiming every day, he suddenly realized that he thought Sasuke was using the transformation technique to do something wretched, and he scolded angrily with his eyes spewing fire. No, it's not transformation technique. I am Seiko Uchiha now, and I used to be a man in disguise. Senior sister, you came just in time, help me choose a few sets of clothes. Zuo Z is also in a hurry to go to the doctor now, and when he sees Tian Tian, he opens his mouth and directly grabs the strong man. Dressing up as a man? Are you insulting my eyes? Watch me expose your lies. Tianchen let out a cry of rage, and put his hand on Sako's shoulder unhappily, and passed his chakra over. As long as the transformation technique has other chakra interfering with the flow of his chakra, it will be released. Nani. How come? Staring at the unchanged Seiko in horror every day, he exclaimed in disbelief. I told you, I'm a girl. Seeing this, Zuozi decided to go all out, and walked into the shop with a mutter and pulled Tianchen. After a while, brother, no, sister. You are so exaggerated, how did you hide it before? Uh, wow, your outfit is really kawaii, but your hair is a little shorter. Sister, can you introduce some more normal clothes? Ha ha ha, 
Don't be so shy. Senior sister will help you measure the size. Do not, hateful, why am I not so? Inside the shop, there were more and more unscrupulous teasing and teasing voices from Tianshan. And, Sako's shame filled resistance. Naruto home. Naruto, you are finally back. I'm ready. At 11 o'clock tonight, I will meet you at this place with them. What do you think? Ten minutes after Naruto came home, Neji came to the door, trembling excitedly. Can. But are you sure those people won't snitch? Naruto looked at Neji seriously and questioned him. He really didn't expect that Neji's speed was so fast. Won't, I've told them about the new system you speak of. They also agreed to the branch house system. This is an opportunity to change their destiny, how could anyone object? Now they come in and out in threes at the same time, spying on each other. Do your best to prevent leaks. Hearing this, Naruto thought inwardly that he was stable. The branch house really couldn't refuse the temptation of unblocking caged bird. Even if someone has a brain twitch, it will be stopped by the other two. After Kakashi left Hokage's office, he took the reward in his hand and started shopping for daily necessities leisurely. In the evening, Kakashi came to his door with big bags and small bags. Take out the key to open and close the door with ease and familiarity, and the skilled movements are done in one go. But in the next second when he turned his head, Kakashi froze, looking at the familiar face in the room, the items in his hand fell to the ground. The two pupils contracted rapidly, and the darkness of the left eye instantly turned into Mangekio Sharingan. Long time no see, Kakashi. Welcome home. The man was also excited, his eyes were reddish, and his voice was choked up. Lin, it's really you. Kakashi asked with an unbelievable trembling voice after confirming with Mangekio again. That person was indeed Nohara Lin in her twenties. Despite the change in appearance, Kakashi recognized him at a glance. Well, it's me. Sorry to make you miserable for so many years. Kakashi, I really miss you. Lin couldn't bear the longing in her heart any longer, she stepped forward a few steps and threw herself into Kakashi's arms, crying out with tears in her eyes. Being hugged like this, Kakashi's cheeks hidden under the mask instantly flushed like a big girl. It's really you, Lin. This, what is going on here? Feeling the temperature in his arms and the face so close, Kakashi suppressed his reluctance, gently pushed Lin away, and asked in doubt. Sorry, I got a little excited. Let's sit down and talk slowly. Lin also suddenly woke up, wiped away her tears to hide her embarrassment, and whispered with a reddish face. After finishing speaking, he leaned over to pick up the items that fell on the ground, and Kakashi hurriedly followed after seeing this. After a while, Lin, what's going on? Aren't you missing and dead? Kakashi, who was sitting opposite Lin, looked at Lin who had become a big woman, and asked with dodge eyes. Lin was not surprised by Kakashi's eyes, but rather enjoyed it. Doesn't this just mean that she can touch Kakashi now? This matter has to start with teacher Minato. Lin puffed out her chest on purpose, stared at Kakashi narrowly, and said Shikai. And many more, Mr. Minato? Could it be that mysterious person? Although Kakashi was a little embarrassed by Lin's performance, he couldn't help but interrupt it. That's right. The person who took me away from the battlefield was Minato Sensei. Kakashi, Minato Sensei told me about you back then. He said that the past and the future are in a continuous causal relationship. If you have to change, maybe only the future. Just like Obito, when Mr. Minato heard our news and arrived, Obito had been killed by Mist Ninja, and his body was never found. At that time, Mr. Minato decided that the past might not be changed. Even if it changes temporarily, it will continue its destiny elsewhere. So, at that time, he was afraid that I would also die inexplicably. He put me in Anbu's logistics department and said it was his second attempt. Even Lord Third Generation doesn't know this information. Teacher Minato said that if the Nine Tails Rebellion still happens, it proves that his guess is correct, let me continue to hide and test the future. If I can survive until now, it proves that the past can be changed. I'll come out to meet you after you return from your first mission with Naruto. You will find a way, he said, to rewrite Obito and their fate again. If I can't live now, there is no way. Take it as, I died in that war. After listening to Lin's narration, Kakashi finally understood why Namikaze Minato faced his death so calmly. I also know why Namikaze Minato said that we will meet again in the future. Take Naruto number one out on a mission and return to boyhood. It was Kakashi who revealed it to Namikaze Minato on the way home later. So Rin knows about this timeline, and Kakashi is no surprise. 
In Lin's words, Namikaze Minato did not reveal that Naruto is the key to time travel. Possibly, it is also just in case, to prevent information leakage. At this moment, Kakashi truly realized the wisdom and thoughtfulness of Namikaze Minato. Kakashi. I'm sorry to let you bear the pain alone all these years. Now, I will never leave you again. Seeing Kakashi bowing his head in thought without saying a word, Lin finally couldn't hold back the feelings in his heart, looked at Kakashi affectionately with her eyes, and boldly expressed her love. This is her confession accumulated for 14 years. Kakashi was thinking about the details, but was confused by Lin's bold confession. Kakashi actually has feelings for Lin, he also knew that Lin liked him. Before, because of the death of Obito, Kakashi had no face to face Lin's feelings, and took the initiative to interrupt Lin's confession. Later, when the consciousness travels back, Kakashi thinks that his consciousness will dissipate, so he tactfully refuses Lin again, and matches Obito and Lin. So now, how should he choose? Kakashi. I know you've been resisting my feelings because of Obito. But now, Obito is gone. Moreover, I am not something you just shirk at will. I have my own ideas. I admit that Obito is a good partner, but emotionally, I don't like Obito. Kakashi, the person I have always liked is you. My feelings are not a tool for you to maintain your bonds. Lin saw Kakashi's tangled appearance, knew his thoughts very well, and reprimanded loudly with tears in her eyes. Kakashi's pupils shrank when he heard this, and he looked at the crying woman in front of him with distress. Did he do something wrong before? He didn't seem to have considered Lin's own wishes. Obito, what should I do? Night, leaves before that, Hyuga Neji gathered in the remote compound of Branch House Jonin. Thirteen people, including Hyuga Neji, Hyuga Iroa, Hyuga Firegate, Hyuga Dede, Hyuga Nixke, Hyuga Tokuma, waited for something in the heavy breathing silence. You guys came early. Sorry I'm late. Neji, let's get started. Suddenly, a voice rang in the ears of everyone, making everyone happy. Without Neji opening his mouth, the twelve people who had prepared earlier stood in a row, took off the forehead protector with a unified movement, closed their eyes and took out a piece of white paper to cover their faces. This is what Naruto asked Neji to arrange. As long as he collapsed, he didn't want to get involved in any trouble with these people. So as not to affect his collection of the two sister flowers, Hanada and Hanabi. Naruto remains indifferent to Neji and Hyuga's loyalty. Okay. After checking it carefully, Neji also closed his eyes and shouted softly. Naruto confirmed that everyone closed their eyes through the white of his eyes, and then appeared in front of everyone in an instant. Taking out the transfer stick, Naruto quickly dragged their caged bird seal onto the white paper with ease. The whole process took no more than two minutes. Tip. Change the fate trajectory of multiple people in Hyuga branch house and get 6,000 Honkai points. Hee <laughs> hee. An average of 500 points per person, this is a return of capital. Neji, what I promised you has been done. Remember my request. What happens next has nothing to do with me. Naruto thought to himself, turned his head to look at Neji who had his eyes closed, and reminded again. Hanada and Hanabi. I know that we are preparing for a bloodless revolution this time. It's not going to cause Hyuga to bleed like Senju in Uchiha. Neji slowly opened his eyes, looked at Naruto gratefully and said. Whatever you want. Naruto nodded in satisfaction, smiled lightly, and left in an instant. Uncles, you can open your eyes now. The seal of caged bird has been lifted. Neji growled excitedly after Naruto left. Twelve branch house Jonin opened their eyes abruptly, rolled their eyes involuntarily, and felt the complete white eyes. It's really lifted. Ha ha ha, finally no longer need to be controlled by the clan. Father, I got rid of the shackles of the branch house. Our branch house has really ushered in a turning point. Seeing the 360 degree vision without blind angles in their smooth foreheads, everyone couldn't help but burst into tears of joy. Everyone uncle. According to the plan, we will start to act tonight. The fate of the branch house will be changed from us. Neji was also infected by everyone's emotions, and interrupted their excitement with a trembling voice. The leaders Hyuga Iroa, Hyuga Firegate, and Hyuga Dayan glanced at each other and nodded imperceptibly. Hyuga Tokuma, who was closest to Neji, suddenly slashed at the back of Neji's neck. Neji, who currently only has the strength of Chunin, was instantly knocked out by this sudden attack. Hyuga picked up Neji and put him in the bedroom inside the room. Tokuma, you stay and protect Neji. There are only four Jonin in the clan, and the few of us are enough. 
He is the first generation patriarch from our Hyuga branch house, there can be no mistakes. Hyuga Iroa thought for a while, and spoke to Hyuga Tokoro. But, all right. Hyuga Tokuma was about to refute, but seeing Hyuga Iroa's serious eyes, put away the unhappiness in his heart, and said helplessly. No way, who made him only have the strength of a special janin. Tokuma, your mission is also very important. In case we fail, you and Neji are the hope of the branch house. This time, we're just asking Neji, who is the one who unlocked the caged bird. It is to prevent the sect from stealing information in the brain after failure. You wait here for our news, in case of failure. You have to protect Neji and escape from the clan's pursuit. Hyuga Homan saw Hyuga Tokuma's expression, knew his unwillingness, patted his shoulder and explained. This time, a bloodless revolution is Neji's proposal. But these experienced old people still carried Neji behind their backs and made two-handed preparations. This dangerous change, they didn't plan to let Neji participate in it in the first place. Neji, is the existence they place high hopes on. Tokuma, Neji is on your leave. On. Hyuga Iroa nodded solemnly to Hyuga Tokuma, gave a low drink, and rushed out of the courtyard quickly. The other ten branch house janin, followed quickly by disappearing into the night. Hope everything is fine, Hyuga Tokuma paused silently for a moment before slowly walking back to the room. Hyuga clan land everything as quiet and peaceful as usual. Suddenly, eleven figures appeared rashly, divided into four teams, shuttled through the clan grounds with ease, and soon arrived at their respective target courtyards. Chief Hiyashi, Branch House Iroa has something to discuss. Hyuga Iroa took two people and came to the clan Nagato and shouted. If bloodless change can be achieved, then they can accept it. After all, Hyuga is still Konoha's Hyuga. The main family still holds many untold secrets of Hyuga. That is what they long for. Iroa. Is the branch house so presumptuous now? With a bang, the door was pushed open, and Hyuga Hiyashi walked out with a straight face, without anger and prestige, and scolded. Hiyashi thinks that he has a good attitude towards the branch house, but it feels a bit wrong to bring people to the branch house at night. The Hiyashi Patriarch. I, Hyuga Iroa, came to discuss the reform of the branch house system on behalf of the branch house. If you agree, then you are still the Hyuga Patriarch of this generation. Hyuga Iroa saw Hiyashi's angry look, and said bluntly. Reform the branch house system. Branch house, are you trying to rebel? Or, caged bird can't restrain your ambition. Hyuga Hiyashi's face turned cold, chakra erupted, the veins around his eyes bulged, and his robe rattled loudly.